Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers and today I'm thrilled to show you the 2023 American Coach American Eagle and we're going to go through the 45K floor plan. Now they've made some major changes to it this year. Uh, first being front axle is now a 20,000 pound front axle and we've got 365 Michelin tires on the front. Along with that you still get the Liberty Bridge Foundation one piece steel structure that is huck bolted together to the front and rear axle with two I-beams versus the industry standard C-channels. So let's start at the top. We've got the marker lights at the very top. If you come down to the center of the top of the coach there, you've got a camera. That's going to contribute to your 360 bird's eye view that I'll show you inside the coach. Then we've got our top mounted windshield wipers for better visibility, along with our top mounted exterior mirrors for better visibility. Then we have that beautiful big panoramic windshield. So this is where you get to see the beautiful country through that windshield. The journey starts when you get behind the steering column and you start your journey. It's the getting there should be as fun as being there. Right in the center of the windshield, you're going to see a rectangle box. That's your mobile eye. That's for lane detection, uh, traffic sign alert. Again, there's a bunch of safety features packed into this coach um, to keep you RVing longer. Then we have our beautiful front cap here. We have the nice stainless steel accents, American Coach logo, and beautiful accent lights. Chrome exterior mirrors that are internally controlled and heated. We also have the turn signal in them right there. And at the very top corner, you've got the camera. So when I turn on my left and right turn signal, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of your coach. Now, along our front cap, we also are protected by Diamond Shield. I always tell my customers when they get to their destination, they ought to, you know, spray off their front cap, their windshield. Um, that Diamond Shield is protect their beautiful paint job, um, but there are some pesky bugs that like to try to eat through that. So, you know, to be safe, do that. Notice the beautiful stainless steel trim all along the bottom of the American Coach. Again, this is its flagship coach. Um, top of the line, beautiful exterior paint. One of the things that I love the most that American that you get with the American Eagle is you get the you can option in for the window silks. So you have the same graphics and colors going through your windows, and you really can't see in those windows at all, but you can see out wonderfully. So you have more privacy. Plus, I just think it looks fantastic on the coach. Now, this is a custom paint color. So call National Indoor RV Centers. We're happy to help you work on a custom paint color if that's what you'd like to do. Otherwise, you have four factory options that you can choose from. Now, they use six stages of, or they use six coats of clear on this. So they'll do all their base paint colors, then they do two coats of clear, they sand it, do two more coats of clear, sand and buff, and then they do two more coats of clear and just buff it. So as you run your fingers down the side of the coat, you shouldn't feel any transition between pink colors. I wanted you to see a cutout of the floor of the Eagle. So you can see that it's a full three inches thick. And then we've got the interlocking joints. So when I add the wall, you can see the thickness of the fiberglass, the block foam insulation, no Luon backer there. So you're not gonna have any DLAM on your wall and then it's going to lock right in at the bottom and the top of the wall. There are three ways that you can get into your coach. Obviously you can use your key or your key fob and then you have your keyless entry. This is really nice. You can give the code to the grandkids, to the service technician so that they can get into your coach when you're away or you just don't have to carry your keys with you. You can still lock up the coach and come back. We also have the lighted door handle here, which is really nice. Also on the key fob, so you've got the lock and the unlock and then one will lock all of your luggage bays and two will unlock all of your luggage bays. 
Here's the first marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And then we've got our nice big Michelin 365 tires. We love that. Now something you've got to go and check out is Retroband. It is sold exclusively by National Indoor RV Centers. It is our run flat device. It is, to my knowledge, the only run flat device that has been tested on an RV made specifically for an RV and we blew a tire at 70 miles per hour. Make sure you go check it out. It will keep you on the road longer and safer with great peace of mind. Our first docking light for the passenger side of the coach. Those are super important. You get two on each side. When you come into a campground at night, you're backing into that space. They are very helpful. None of us want to do that at night, but it's gonna happen. So it's great to have those. Now let's go over the storage compartments. So our first storage compartment, we have the power pass-through tray. So we've got the control there on the door. You can see how nice and big the storage compartments are. And they're white, so you can see everything nice and bright, and they are all lit as well. So inside this pass-through tray, we've got extra tiles in case you ever need them. I don't think you're going to with that Liberty Bridge because um, it's all about the foundation. Also, you sit on the Freightliner chassis. I've got a full Freightliner factory tour video that you can go um, watch if you want to learn more about the chassis. And then we've got our rock guard or mud flap. We'll put that on before your delivery at National Indoor RV Centers. And we have the optional ladder so you can Add that to the back in case you want to get up to clean off your solar panels. You can easily do that. Now, I like the pass-through tray. This comes standard, and I love that it's powered. So if you want to put a heavy toolbox on here, it's really nice to bring that in and out um, with really no effort at all. Our next compartment, you have a couple options here. So it comes standard with no tray, but it is a uh, pass-through compartment. Now, if you want to option in the refrigerator or freezer, you, you set the temperature on this, then you get a half tray. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out so you can see the refrigerator. And you set the temperature here. Again, this is really nice if you're tailgating, if you just want it to be uh, drinks, or if you're, you know, taking, you know, meat across the country or ice cream, you can make that a, a freezer as well. Just move the lever back to push it back in. Also, while you're down here, you can see part of that Liberty Bridge. So you see all the steel down here, um, the cross members, that all will contribute to the steel bridge that gives you such great stability um, as you're going down the road. You have two open 110 outlets right next to the freezer on the sidewall. In the center roof of this compartment, you can see that we've got our 2800 watt pure sign inverter. It's in a nice location because you're not gonna be able to pack a lot of things around it. It does need a little air to breathe and you don't wanna pack things too tightly next to it. So I mentioned tailgating. So if it was a nice sunny hot day, you'd wanna have your awnings out. So you can either bring those out, you've got two Gerard awnings that come standard and of course they're integrated into the sidewall giving it, giving it that nice best like look. Um, you can either bring them out with the app on your phone or you can do it right inside the door or from the remote control. Now that I've got my awnings out, my lights on, I'm going to go ahead and bring out my TV. So it's on, a, the door is on an electric lift so I'm going to bring that up. So now that I've got my TV out, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights in the TV box. I'm gonna turn on my porch light and my passenger side security light. So you get a 50 inch 4K smart Samsung TV outside with the sound bar and you can also pull that out and swivel it so that you can direct it away from the sun if you need to. We also have the nice electric powered entry awning with LED lights as well. Here is our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. That's dual fill, so you can fill it from the passenger side or the driver's side. In this compartment, we have the reservoir for our hydraulic 
fluid for our HWH slide and our hydraulic leveling, leveling jacks. And it's on a slide so you can easily pull that out to fill it and for maintenance. Next up, we have our battery compartment. So standard is eight batteries. We opted for the lithium package, so we get eight lithium batteries. So they do have a heat pad, lithium batteries. You don't want them to get too cold. So we have that protection. Plus this is a heated compartment. The whole basement is heated. So you can see the furnace vent there in the back. Then we have the battery disconnect here for the batteries. Now, if we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches at each of our locations, um, always plugged into either 50 amp or 30 amp service, whatever they require, full valet service. So all you do is give us a call, we'll pull out your coach, check your tire pressures, fill up your fresh water tank, and put it out for you to pick up. You can hook up your tow vehicle and head off. We try to make take all the hassle out of RVing. But if you are not a storage customer with us and you're storing elsewhere, where you may not be plugged into 50 amp service, you wanna make sure you do all your battery disconnects because um, you don't wanna have any parasitic draw to your batteries. You would hate to come back to the dead batteries. Midship on the passenger side of the coach is the second camera that will contribute to your bird's eye view. All right, so inside here we have our Surge Guard RV power protection transfer switch. Not everyone understands what the transfer switch does. So the transfer set switch will take you from either shore powered or generator power. Um, it's always gonna favor generator power. So let me give you an example. Say it's a huge rainstorm one night and uh, the breaker at the pole gets tripped. You don't wanna get out, get dressed, put on your raincoat, your boots and head out to uh, reset the breaker so you just turn on the generator. It's going to draw the power from the generator uh, until you turn the generator off. So even if someone flips the breaker on the pole, it's still gonna be pulling from the generator. Um, what happens if you have a, a surge to your transfer switch, uh, your transfer switch will get locked in one position, either for shore power or for generator power. So you may be, you may give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers and say, um, you know, everything's working off the generator, but I can't get anything to work off the pole. It's because it's locked in that generator position. Um, so one of the things that we say to protect yourself from um, a surge happening is to add a second surge guard protector. Uh, you can do it at the end of your 50 amp shore power cord, or you can come to National Indoor RV Centers where we can hardwire it into um, your 50 amp shore power compartment. That way you don't have to worry about anyone taking that um, surge guard protector because unfortunately we have to worry about that these days. Here's the Go Power. This is the solar controller for your 300 watt solar panel. Then we have the battery control center and we have the cutoff for your inverter. And then we have a trickle charger for your chassis batteries. All right, up here we've got two more disconnects. Now this is for those heat pads that are on your lithium batteries. Um, basically, you don't need to have those pads on if you were storing your coach in the summertime. Um, it's also kind of like an on and off switch. Then we have the BGA disconnect. That's a protection for your lithium, lithium batteries. You don't want them to drain down to zero. Very bad for lithium batteries. So it's gonna protect them and turn them off completely before they're fully drained. Here's our second docking light for the passenger side of the coach and our second marker light. Now I want to talk a little bit about V-Ride. You get V-Ride with the Freightliner chassis. Um, that's going to give you more stability, less sway as you're going down the road. Uh, you also get Ultra Steer on this chassis as well. Ultra Steer is your passive steer tag axle. So um, you can immediately look at a coach and tell if you've got that passive steer tag axle. So if you take a look at your front axle, I. I call it an Audi, sort of related to belly buttons. This is an Audi, so they match. You know you have a passive steer front axle, and that's the any. Here's our third marker light for the passenger side of the coach, and our final marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Just inside here, we have our chassis batteries. Here, 
We have our power management system for the back half of the coach, and we have a Deutsch plug there that a technician at National Indoor RV Centers can plug in for communication with your coach. Here are your ba um, chassis battery disconnects. So again, those would also need to be disconnected if you're storing your coach where you're not plugged in. Don't want that parasitic drop. Here's a fuel filter, water separator, air dryer, and fuel filter. And right in the corner of our door here is our 15 gallon DEF tank. DEF is diesel exhaust fluid. Um, it does have a shelf life of one year. So um, you just wanna be careful if you're buying it from an AutoZone or Walmart that you make note of when you bought that and when you put it in. Uh, it also doesn't like sunlight or heat and you can monitor the level of your DEF at your dash. Just above the chassis battery compartment, we have the vent for your dryer. Right here on this back door is where you can extend the rear cap so that you can do all your maintenance. So back in the engine compartment, we have our transmission dipstick and fill, our oil engine dipstick and oil engine fill. Here is our coolant. Then we have our engine air filter minder. So when that little yellow line gets up to the red line, it's time to change your filter. You wanna make sure you do that at least once a year. We can do that on your regularly um, yearly maintenance at National Indoor RV Centers. Now here is the where the air, the ambient air comes in on this coach. That is hidden up in the spoiler so the air will come in, ambient air will come in, in through here and then it goes into the air cleaner so that you have nice clean air um, going into your engine. Such a beautiful rear cap on the American Eagle. At the very top, we've got our marker lights. Right in the center, we have our rear view camera and then we've got our optional ladder off to the left. I'll show you how to hook up the rest of the ladder here shortly. Again, our American Coach logo in the center, our brake lights. Then we, down below, we've got our 20,000 pound hitch. So what does that mean to you? That means that you're going to be able to easily pull that stacker trailer with your sports car and your side-by-side -side or whatever toys you wanna to bring, you're not gonna have a problem with this. Um, next to the hitch, you've got your brake sink, um, airline for your tow vehicle. If you're not sure what to tow, how to tow, National Indoor RV Centers does it best. I have a whole towing um, 101 video that you can go and check out. And then to the left, we've got our seven way for our lights. This is the exhaust for our aqua hot and obviously our engine exhaust is here. As I come around the back of the coach here, we've got our first marker light for the driver's side of the coach. Then we have our side radiator. Now there's a lot of benefits to having the radiator on the side. First of all, you can pull in the ambient air, which is cooler, um, so it makes it work more efficiently, actually gives you a little more horsepower. Uh, the other thing is, for obvious reasons, you have much easier access for maintenance to your engine compartment. Um, as far as maintenance goes for your radiator, one of the things that's really good to do is take a garden hose, just gently spray out the coils and keep that clean so it works more efficiently. Um, again, just gently, if you use like a power washer or something, you'll bend those coils and that's not good. Uh, just beyond the radiator, we have the DEF fill for the driver's side of the coach. It's great that we have that option on both sides and our second marker light for the driver's side of the coach. Just above that, we've got the fill, potable water fill. So if you're dry camping, you need to add water to your fresh water tank, you can do that right here. You can also add tablets to sanitize your tank right here. Now, just above the radiator compartment, we've got this door, no handle. That is your emergency exit door. So um, you can easily open that from the inside. It's in your uh, master bathroom. It folds out and you can easily get out of your coach in an emergency. Our third marker light for the driver's side of the coach and our first docking light. Then we've got our wet bay where all the fun happens. So lots to talk about in here. Um, two items that I love, both your 50 amp shore power cord and your um, water hose are on auto reels. So all you have to do is just push the button for those to go back in, which is really nice. You can also thread these through these holes. 
and then shut it so that you can keep all the critters out of your coach. And then when you're done and you want to clean up, you could just use the power rail to take that right back in, which is really nice. Um, there's the power rail for the shore power cord and right here is the power um, knob for your macerator. Here's the water filter for your house. Just above that is your city water connection. Here's your water tank bypass fill. So when it's up and down, it's closed. So you would have it closed if you were connected to city water and you were just gonna use city water and it's pressure. If you're gonna fill your fresh water tank, you would open it and fill it there. Here are your uh, drains for your cold water drain and your hot water drain. You would drain those if you're going to winterize your coach. Another thing you don't have to worry about if you are a storage customer with National Indoor RV Centers, but if you do need to winterize, the instructions are right here. Sandy flush for your gray tank, sandy flush for your black tank. And then just above that, you've got a control panel here, give you the levels of your tanks. Again, fresh is 105, gray 75, black is 50. You can also turn on your door side exterior light or your roadside exterior light right here. Um, luggage compartments and the lighting underneath your coach. This is where you can turn your water pump on and off. Oh, and just want to tell you that lighting underneath your coach turns different colors. How fun is that? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> it's the little things that get me excited. Uh, and then you can turn all your exterior lights on or off. Then we have our exterior shower. This is great if you've been at the beach or hiking. You can wash everything off before you go inside your coach. And then we have our cable connection and our two 110 outlets. Then we've got the T-bars for our black tank and the T-bar for our gray tank. We do have the Thetford uh, macerator system here, so you can thread that through the hole there. The other nice thing is we've got the rotocast compartment here, so we can wash this all out when we're done with the dirty work. Also notice the wedge tank design. So um, it's wedged, all the contents are gonna be forced to that center point, much easier to dump. And you can see how they wedge those in together there. And we've got the drain for our fresh water tank if we are winterizing. Paper towel holder and soap on the door there so you can clean up after you've done all that dirty work. So I extended the power window awning. That gives you nice shade inside. And then we've got the roadside exterior light and our third camera for the bird's eye view shot when we get at the dash. Here we have our 600 diesel. Yep, 600 diesel aqua hot. I've never seen one this big. <laughs> so the beauty of that is that you have two electric heating elements, plus you have a much bigger reservoir. You go from a five gallon reservoir to a 15 gallon reservoir. We've got our control panel here and then we've got our fuel filter for the diesel aqua hot there. Now diesel aqua hot, just in case you're not sure, that's gonna provide you your on-demand hot water. Um, you're never gonna have to worry about how long of a shower you're taking. Take as long as you want. You're gonna have a hot water, uh, plus it's also the furnace um, heat for your coach when you, once you drop below like 33 degrees. Our next bay has our central vac filter in there and in the very back you can see the reservoir for the antifreeze for the aqua hot. Nice storage compartment in here. In the back corner of this compartment, you can see UV light. That is for your black tank. You no longer need to sanitize your black tank. The UV light will do that for you. Your diesel fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. Then we've got the split tray. You just pull that out. It's a very nice size tray. Having the split, split tray makes it really easy to get to your goods. Here is our power pass-through tray. So again, that's gonna come out just as far on this side as it did on the other side. So you'll see how far this can extend on both sides. Then I also wanna note this rubber gasket here that seals off the compartment. Notice that there's a little bit of an arc to it. That's on purpose, that's so if there's any condensation or moisture that lands on that, that it will run off to the side rather than staying there and then eventually drying out and cracking that um, seal. Second docking light for the driver's side of the coach. And then our last, well, almost our last marker light, we've got one right up at the corner as well. Now you'll see the exhaust here. This is for your 12,500 watt Onan generator. So that does get really hot, just be 
um, aware of that if you go to extend the generator because it is on a gen slide here so you can be sliding that open that could be really hot also you've got your airline so you quick connect here you can fill up your rubber rafts, your footballs, your bike tires, and then you've got an air service line. So if you are ever needing to be towed, um, you may need to fill up with some air here. Hopefully you don't have to do that. Uh, then we have our fuses for the front half of the coach and our windshield wiper fluid. All right, inside the front cap, we've got our air horn, air horns and our wussy horn. <laughs> and then we've got the AC dash controls. You know, we've got dual controls, so it's gonna be a lot bigger here. And then we have our 12,500 watt uh, Onan generator right here at the front is where you would reset the breaker. Here's your coolant fill. And then we have, uh, we can pre, we can start the generator right here and stop it. It's also gonna give us our generator hours. When you purchase a 2023 American Coach, you get the Platinum Experience. You get a little surprise in this box, so make sure you look for that at your delivery at National Indoor RV Centers. Along with the Platinum Experience, you get a two-year warranty on the Coach or 24,000 miles, five-year war structural warranty or 50,000 miles, five-year DLAM warranty, and three-year roadside assistance warranty. So that's pretty huge. All that's packed into that, plus you get the five-year, 100,000-mile warranty on the Freightliner chassis. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call. So also with the Platinum Experience, you get the app, which is really cool. It's personalized to you and your coach. So you can see contact 24-hour um, support, service, parts, community, service locations, tools and tips. So if you forgot how to work the app or controlling the Firefly system, you've got short little tutorials to help remember, uh, remind you how they work. So lots of information. Also, all those manuals that are packed into that little black bag inside the coach, they're on this in a PDF. So very easy to access if you need that extra help. So now that you've seen all the great features on the outside of the coach, let's go in and check out the 45K interior, gorgeous interior decor packages that we have with American Coach. The first thing you'll notice as you walk into the Eagle are the beautiful curved steps. Just gives it that extra high-end feel. We've got the great grab bars that you can easily and safely get in and out of the coach. Then over here, we've got a few uh, buttons and a panel to go over that are important. The first thing you're gonna see are the battery disconnect switches. That's really nice to have right at the entrance of your coach so you can easily flip those on as you come in or leave. And then we've got our step cover. Now this is what we'll use when we're actually in travel mode and I'll show you that when I'm in the co-captain's chair. Here we have the multiplex control so we can turn all of the interior lights on and off so it's like a master switch which I really love to have that at the I like to have it in the bedroom and I like to have it here at the entrance. Then you've got an on off for all your exterior lights. You've got your entry lights, your dinette lights, galley lights, your luggage lights. So you can just turn all your compartments on or off at the touch of a button. You can turn on the lights for your awning and your porch, your door side exterior light and your roadside exterior light. And this is your step lock. So I always put that on because I don't want my step motor going in and out every time this door is open. So to save that motor, always just leave that locked in place so it's out and then when you start the ignition, it will automatically bring that step in. And then we have the under box, so that is for under the slide rooms. And then we have the TV box, you can light the TV box and then under the coach light, we give you that nice lighting underneath the coach. We can also do the slide rooms from here. So you've got your door side and your roadside slides, and then your TV box again. You can extend that or retract that. And then you've got the awnings that you can do as well. So your entry awning, your front awning, your rear awning, and your window awning. You can extend and retract. This is your settings button. 
which will just allow you to adjust the screen brightness, auto dimming, and go into cleaning mode. Right at the front entry, you have your fire extinguisher. This is great, you know right where it is if you're inside the coach, and it's also very easy to get to if you need it outside the coach. Now, one of the products I want you to go check out, um, I actually have a video on it, it's ProTang. It's our fire suppression system, and it's sold exclusively by National Indoor RV Centers. Um, if you know anything about National Indoor RV Centers, you know that we only sell products that we truly believe in. So ceramic coating, Retrobrand, Protang. Um, we don't sell any of the snake oil products. Um, we really believe in this. So uh, Protang, like I said, is a fire suppression system. Um, when it activates, um, it leaves no residue. So that's one of the really cool features about it. Again, I go over all this in my video but we can give you a custom quote so you can do your entire coach or you can do just select areas. So maybe you just want your engine compartment protected. We can do that too. So give us a call today and we can give you a quote. As I step into the cockpit area here, I wanted to go over the storage. First of all, look at these beautiful cabinets. I absolutely love them. This is the mindful gray um, color and they are just fabulous. So we've got storage here and then over here we've got lots of things to talk about so we've got our cell booster so we have optioned that in um, then we've got our slide room control here for our door side slide the front and then for our hydraulic room extension which is our full wall slide so you have re redundancy you can do that at the panel below here or on your phone TV lockout that's just to keep you from um, putting any shows on the TV while you're traveling down the road and then we have our over-the-air antenna our 40 inch Sony TV 4k smart TV our next compartment is our AV compartment you can see that that's vented this front area of the cab can get a little bit warm so they've vented this whole area which is nice then we've got our matrix box which is going to determine the source and which TV it's going to and then we've got our uh, Blu-ray DVD player. Now in the back, we have three available 110 outlets. We've got our um, cable connection here and then HDMI cord storage below. In here, we've got our optional satellite and this is the audio controller for the JBL sound system. Welcome to the beautiful interior of the 45K Eagle. Now, the first thing that you think when you come in here, it's just, it's luxurious. It's beautiful. It's very tastefully done. Looks very res residential, but high end. So I noticed the beautiful cabinets. Again, those are the mindful gray with the poly finish. So not only are they gonna be durable, um, they have that nice uh, gloss on them. So they, they just look beautiful. And then I noticed the floor. Look at that beautiful porcelain tile floor on the uh, herringbone set pattern and I just think that looks really really pretty and nicely done then we have the beautiful apex furniture now this is the sleepy hollow decor package you have two other packages you can choose from um, apex furniture is made specifically for American coach um, it's feels wonderful to sit in it looks beautiful and then we have the beautiful captain co-captain's chairs those are made by villa i'll kind of cover those later but it's just really i like this floor plan i like the way that it sets your living room apart from your kitchen apart from your bedroom area so it's just really nice lots of seating here we've gone with the theater seating option. Now that's something I want to talk, you, talk to you about. So um, when you watch these reviews, you see what's in these beautiful coaches, but sometimes you may get confused as what's standard and what's an option. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Our RV lifestyle specialists are ready and waiting to help you. Um, we are more than happy to do a custom order with you or we're happy to sell you what um, we have in inventory on the lot. So we can walk you through what's standard, what's optional. So we want the optional theater seating here. You can also, standard is the sofa with a sleeper in it. Um, when you do the sofa with a sleeper, then you get a sofa across from it um, that's fixed. It will not have a bed in it. When you do the theater seating, you get the sofa with the um, hide a bed in there. So we can walk you through all of that. So one of the nice things about once you're 
in your campground or in your beautiful resort is you want to turn your captain co-captain's chairs around so that increases the seating area in your living room so like i said these are very comfortable the other nice thing about them is you've got the footrest so and then these are all powered now i can put the backrest back so i can get really comfortable here <laughs> pull down the armrest and even better you have this massage feature when you're going down the road you also have it when you're in your living room so you can have the little massage feature on sit back relax and then you're directly across from your tv so now let's go over my favorite spot <laughs> you'll so soon see why these are so comfortable so comfortable without me even even adjusting it at all um, but i do have all the controls here at the cup holder so i can extend that footrest And then we have the light. And then this is something that no one else has in the industry. It has the headrest control. So that's really nice if you need it more forward or if you want it to go further back. If you're taller or shorter, it's all gonna depend on where you want that headrest. So that makes the seat comfortable for every size um, height, I guess is the better, the better word. But it's really really nice right here also in the cup holder we've got our usb charging port and then you're going to see this little metal thing you're probably wondering what that is well right inside the cubby here we've got our little tv tray tablet holder whatever you'd like to call it but that goes right in there drink holder so you just put that in there you can share it with the captain over there. You can bring it across and you can have it for dinner or for work, you know, great little option. And you have this on both ends of the theater seating. And then in the center console here, not only is that a nice little um, armrest for you, but there's storage, which I absolutely love. And it's pretty deep. So I'm always cold, my husband's always warm, so I have blankets everywhere. I love that I can just throw those in there. Also a great place for your remotes, or you can put your remotes in your little pocket over here um, so they don't have to be out and you're not always hunting for them. Here in the other side of the theater seating, like I said, you've got the same compartment with your little tray that goes in, and we've got two 110 outlets. Also right underneath the cabinet here, two more 110 outlets. The camera select has a great safety feature because it will scroll through all the external cameras so you can see what's happening outside your coach. You have one of these buttons here and in your bedroom. Right next to that is our TV lift. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it up and then directly across from me, the TV, 50 inch TV is going to come up. Right here between the captain's chair and the theater seating, we've got our first thermistor. Thermistor is what communicates with the thermostat to keep this area nice and comfortable. And I'll point those out as we go through the coach. Another beautiful detail on this coach is the ceiling treatment. So it's just nicely done, very elegant. And you'll also notice on the ceiling that are, there are no vents. So the AC is gonna run through the center of the ceiling treatment. We get three AC units, 15,000 BTU on each in the Eagle, and we have the heat pumps on the front and the rear. Also, we've got the nice soft vinyl touch ceiling, the beautiful lights along the ceiling, and then we've also, center of the coach is our smoke alarm, and in the master bedroom is our carbon monoxide detector. So one of the things I love about the Eagle and the 45K are the big windows. There are so many windows in this front area. So a huge one behind the theater seating, by the dinette, in the kitchen, and then this big window that's across from the theater seating. So if we're not watching TV and we have that down, it's just like you're bringing the outside in. So you can enjoy the mountains or the ocean or wherever you are. Um, that's, that's why we camp, right? So we can enjoy the outdoors as well as our beautiful, luxurious indoors. So above the theater seating here, we've got another multiplex control panel. So we get, again, have the interior lights on and off, and then we can do individual areas. So the entry ceiling, dinette ceiling, galley ceiling, or living room ceiling. So below the lights, we have front mood one, front mood two, and front mood off. And basically, you can see when I hit front mood one, it's gonna turn off certain lights and then you can 
turn those right back on. Now what's cool about that is that you can kind of set like a theater mode. So you can determine which lights you wanna say go off or dim when you're watching a movie. Then we have our shade controls. So we have all passenger shades up and down, all passenger blinds up and down, all driver shades up and down, and all driver blinds up and down. And then we've got our settings screen again, so brightness, auto dimming, cleaning mode. Across from the theater seating, we have the sofa with the sleeper. This makes into a bed and it's really easy. So you're just going to take out the bottom cushions and then lift and pull out. You'll also see um, when I do that, the sofa has two seat belts in it and then you're gonna have seat belts in your theater seating. So you have seat belts for six total in the coach. So it just folds down right into place, super easy. Even a little space here if you need to get out to walk your pet or to leave the couch when you've got guests sleeping here. But you can see you can easily get two adults comfortably on this nice mattress. And then it folds up just as easy as it came out. Just above the sofa, we've got our outlet here. So two 110 and two issue USB charging ports, and that just tucks away when you're not using it. Our, of course, our big Sony TV on the lift, 50 inch 4K smart TV, and we have the sound bar above, and then we have storage. Look at that nice deep storage. One, one available, one tin outlet. There's no divider in this cabinet, so you can see, you can really get in here whatever you need. All right, into our dining area. Okay, look at this. I'm gonna point this out. The Cambria Quartz um, table, it's beautiful, it's heavy. It just feels like very nice quality and it's beautiful as well. So we have the buffet area. We get storage with this. This is the dinette that comes standard. You can also option in a Euro booth. Um, the nice thing about this is that you are gonna get that extra storage, so drawer here, storage there, and then we have storage, another big compartment here, and our subwoofer is below. Then just above that we have the two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports, more storage, and soft close. So no banging of drawers or cabinets, which is wonderful. And then you'll notice this little strip here at the bottom. That's just so you can strap in your chairs um, when you're in travel mode, so you make sure that they don't slide. Typically, they don't move much, um, but in case you have to stop really quick, they will slide forward, so you just lock them in and that makes it safe. Now, this table extends as well, so you just unlock it and then extend it. So you can see that you can easily get four people to this table. Also, I wanna point out their folding chairs are, well, I think they're the best. They're just really comfortable and sturdy and they don't um, look like a folding chair. That's what I really love is that they look like the other chair. Um, love that. So how does the saying go? Drink six, feeds four, sleeps two. <laughs> you can easily feed four here. Check out all the storage above the dinette. Again, it's there's no divider in there. So you've got lots of space. Love that. And on top of that, soft clothes check out those uh, residential poles i just love them everything looks so nice every detail has been thought out here now just below the cabinets we've got our thermistor for the center part of the coach so this is what i've really been excited to show you is the kitchen in the 45k because i think it's gorgeous first of all first feature that i absolutely love this is a fixed island and look at the waterfall design with the Cambria quartz. It's just so beautiful. Um, most of us are used to having those drawers come off this end um, of an island that either extends, like I said, this is fixed. So part of that will be covered when that slide comes in. But look at the drawer space that you get and the cabinet space you get when everything's over on this side. So nice big drawer here. And then I really like this cabinet here. 
So adjustable shelves, this is gonna be great for like my Instapot, air fryer, some of those taller items. I can take out that shelf altogether or raise it as high as I want um, and then put everything underneath it. Still have a little shelf above. I like having those kind of options. Then we've got the beautiful um, glass accent here in this cabinet, I think is beautiful. Looks really nice, but you don't, I don't have to make everything look nice inside. <laughs> so again, adjustable shelves here. Little area for spices up above here because it's not deep there, but it is very deep in this area. So here we have the black stainless steel Samsung convection microwave oven. So nice. And don't be afraid of the convection oven. They work great. So I have a customer that I walked into her coach. She had this beautiful loaf of bread. I was like, did you make that in there? She's like, yeah. Um, made pies, cookies, lasagna, brownies, biscuits. You can do it all in there. So they're really nice. Just below that, we've got our covers here for our induction cooktop. So induction cooktop, any pan will work that a magnet will attach to. So the nice things about the induction cooktop, one, um, they are not really hot to the touch, but they heat up very quickly when you've got a pan on them. You can boil water like that. Um, they're very nice. And then if you're not using them, you can put those covers back on. And then you've got that extra prep area. And while you're doing all that work, you can be looking at your gorgeous window. Look at that backsplash again, high end residential look. And I love the way they frame out their window. Back by the window, we've got our 110 and two USB um, outlets. And I, again, love that because I can push it away, but this gives you opportunity if you wanna put a coffee maker or a Keurig up here, you can plug them in right there. Now below the induction cooktop, nice big drawer right now it's carrying all those remotes but i know i've got lots of things i can fill that with and below that we have the dishwasher and i love how that just blends in you don't even know that's a dishwasher there and then we have this nice tall space here so we can put some of our pans in there cookie sheets cutting boards another beautiful cabinet here more room for spices Nice big cabinet here, which opens up around the corner. So if you have something that you need to fit in there that's a little bit longer, you can get that in there. Residential faucet again. We have the beautiful Cambria and then our nice big sink here. I do love this because it gives you the big sink. So you have that option if you need it. And then you also have like this little tray that comes with it. You can use that for to wash your fruits and vegetables or you can keep that, you know, put your utensils in there and wash those out. I love this pull out. You've got a spot here for your waste basket. Plus you've got a place where you can put the um, stove top covers if you're not using those so they don't get in your way. Shut that. Now this doesn't open, that's just for looks. And then at the back of the cabinet here, we've got the little tower here. So two 110 outlets, two USB charging ports, and I'm not done. There are still two more 110 outlets right here. So this is one of the really cool features of the Eagle. Um, this Samsung black stainless steel refrigerator freezer with basically a Samsung tablet on the front door. So pretty much anything you can do on your tablet, you can do on this refrigerator door. So you can play your music, you can throw up your photos, um, some of the unique things that you can do. And I'm not gonna show you everything on this because this is kind of a video in itself. <laughs> You're gonna have hours to figure this out. Um, but I do love that I could be at the grocery store as long as I'm connected, I can see that, I can see the contents of my refrigerator from the grocery store. So if I'm wondering if I have butter, um, I can look and see if I actually have butter in there. So that's cool. You can also create your shopping list in here, um, throw up the shopping list and create that add to it. So just little cool features to make your life easier. It'd definitely make my life easier because I make shopping lists and then I leave them um, at the coach. So this way, I could, I could have it with me. So really cool features there. Go to the weather, you name it, you can do it right there. And it looks great too. 
Not only that, you're gonna have ice and water in your refrigerator door. I know we love that. And then open it up. Nice big refrigerator. And then the other cool thing is you've got this center door here. So you can go to this flex zone, hit it. Now I can decide if I wanna make this a wine cooler, deli container, beverage store, or for meat. So I can set those temperatures, change that, and let's go for beverages and save it. And now that's what this section is here. And then we have our freezer below. And what's super important here, everyone should have an RV pre-trip checklist. If you don't have one, email me at Angie, A-N-G-I-E, at nirvc.com. I'd be happy to share my list with you. I do an RV 101 series where I um, prepare for a trip, go on a trip, um, set up camp, break down and get to my destination. Kind of walk you through a whole trip, um, hooking up everything up the wet bay, um, the electrical hooks up, hookups, I do it all. Um, plus, I feature some of my customers where they kind of show us how they uh, maximize the use of their storage inside and outside their coach. So, back to what I started with here is you wanna have a lock on your refrigerator and freezer. And this is just really easy. It locks right in place here. Set that in. You don't have to worry about those doors flying open when you're traveling and then, you know, all the contents spilling out onto your beautiful floor. Just beyond the refrigerator freezer, we've got our pantry and with pull-out shelves. Love that feature because then you really get to use that whole pantry because you can get to the very back. So nothing gets lost especially as you get down to these bottom compartments, you would never get back to the back of that cabinet without this pull-out drawer, so really like that. So across from the refrigerator, we have our dustpan, so we can just sweep everything over to this and then suck it away, or we can attach the hose to our dirt double vacuum, get to the front of the coach and the very rear of the coach. Of course, you can use it outside as well. Now we have our half bath. So nice, very roomy half bath. We have another multiplex lighting panel here. So we've got control of our lights plus the bathroom fan. Um, then we have the mirrored medicine cabinet. So nice storage behind that. And then below that beautiful backsplash. Again, the Cambria quartz sink and our residential faucets. Storage below. And then we've got the push button controls for the toilet. We can turn the heater on and off here. And we've got two 110 outlets underneath the cabinet. And then we have cabinet here. This is going to be our power control system, our resettable breakers. And then just above that, we've got the resettable breakers for our heated floors. So the front and the rear. And then we have our AC manual override. So if for some reason the panel's not working or you need to get your AC on, this will override everything else. So once you turn those on, it's gonna continue running until you turn them off. Just gonna keep going, but it's nice to have those as a backup, especially if you live in those hotter states, Florida, Texas, where you might die without um, AC. And <laughs> that's great to have as a backup. So then we've got nice big window here our porcelain toilet and toilet paper holder. So now we're gonna go over the Firefly panel here on the coach. You can control almost everything from this panel. Now we've got just, it's in sleep mode right now, but you can see that it's giving the temperature of the front, mid and rear, and the exterior temperature. You can also hit the blackout, and that's gonna black out that whole screen so that it's not gonna keep you awake at night. And then you'll just hit it again and it will come back on. So now I'm on the home page here, and you can see that we've got a warning for our freshwater tank. It's just letting us know that we don't have enough water in it right now because we haven't filled the tanks, obviously. Um, these are our interior lights, so I can go to the interior lights and turn them all on and all off. And I can do the same with the exterior lights. 
We can do all the door side blinds right here and all the roadside blinds right there. Away and stow. And then it's going to give us the um, amps that we have, volts or amps that we have coming in on line one and line two. And it's going to let us know that our source of power right now is shore power. Our battery levels, so 4.3 on our chassis batteries, 12.8 on our house batteries. Then we have our auto gen start button. So we can go in here. This is where you can turn it on or off. You can also set the triggers. So what you want the trigger to be for volts um, or for climate. You can set your quiet time and your run time. So very easy to do there. Then we also have the inverter. So this is where you can monitor your inverters and turn them on and off. And then we've got this Go. That is for your Go Power or solar charger. So this is going to let you know what kind of um, amps you're bringing in off the solar panel. Then we've got our freshwater tank, which we've got 105 gallons of fresh water. Gray is 75. Black is 50. Those are all at zero right now. We can turn our water pump on and we can either use electric heat or diesel heat. We're plugged in, so obviously we're going to be using electric right now. Just below here, now I can hit that little A and it's going to label everything. So if there's something I don't know what it is, I'll throw up those labels. That will take me back to my sleep button. And then the question mark is probably one of my favorite buttons because Again, if I have a question, I don't know how something works, I'm going to go ahead and hit the question mark. Now it's going to put a little question mark in each section. So I'm going to hit the question mark if I'm not sure what that button is for. And it will pop up. It will give me an explanation and how it operates. And so I read that and then close it back out. Once I've gotten my question answered, I'm just going to hit the question mark again and it will take those away. So now I'm going to go to my next which is the main light switch. So I've got my master main light, my galley ceiling light, dinette, and I can easily dim or put them to full power right there. Living room ceiling, front floor, front accent, galley task, which is just around the countertops. And then we've got our mood lighting as well. And we can customize those settings from this panel. Um, then we can go to our entry lights, main lights, what I just went through, our rear lights. And again, when in, anytime you see that little bar there, you can dim or brighten those lights. Now we'll go to our shades. So again, you can do your front shades, the middle of the coach shades, or the rear shades, and it will give you all your options up and down on the shade and the blind. Then we're going to go to our house. So our house, we can control the awnings. So retract and extend, and then it's going to give you each individual awning. And we can also do our slides, just hit that button, and now it's going to give you the option of which si slide you can retract and extend. Temperature, here's your climate control, so that you see we have the front, middle, and rear. It's going to give you the temperatures in each of those locations, and then you can decide if you want the um, cool, the AC on, the fan, the diesel burner, electric heat, or floor heat. So the floor heat is down here below, so you can turn that on and off from here. And the floor heat comes standard, if I haven't mentioned, in the Eagle, which is a really nice option. You can also turn on your aqua hot for your furnace and your hot water, your heat pump. Um, everything climate-wise can be controlled right here. Next up is our utilities. So this is where we can do our AV on and off, engine heater on and off, block heater on and off, our step lock, galley fan, half bathroom fan, and our rear fan, and our TV box. Outside, we can take that up or down from here. We can also edit the home screen. So if we want to have, um, let's say, so those two are already on my home screen. Let's say I want to put my fans on my home screen. Now I'm going to hit that. And then if I go to my home screen, 
you can see all my fans now have been added to my home screen. Next up is the cleaning mode. So again, you can you want to wipe this off and keep it nice and clean. You could do a 15 second blackout, 30 second or 60 seconds to sanitize it. So here in the settings, we've got the display. We can change the brightness of the screen, um, some of the sounds. So you can mute them if you want. That's up to you so you can customize that. We go to software, software, diagnostic, check for updates, reboot the system, and you also know which version you're on. Sleep, you can program um, when you want the screen to go to sleep or schedule it so that it goes off during the evening. User, this is just you can change the background color um, and then some general settings, date, time, etc. Images, we've got the American Coach image here. Um, from the app, you can add another image so you can have that pop up on your screen. Pairing, this is where you're going to pair your phone um, so that you can control all these same functions, do all these same functions from this screen off of your phone. So welcome to the beautiful bedroom, uh, master bedroom of the Eagle. I just love this. Again, with the bed lifted up, you can see this huge walkway that you have. I love it. I could do an exercise class here if I needed. I've got my mirror right there. <laughs> um, but really, very rare that you have this much room. And I do like the bed lift. Um, you have to have the bed lift when you bring this slide in or to bring this slide in. Um, but for watching TV, it's nice to be able to sit up in bed and look across um, or just even read a book. It's kind of nice. So there's some benefits to having that bed lift for sure. Um, the other thing is you can totally, you know, shut off your bedroom and it's very private so we've got the beautiful doors here you just push down to release the doors and then they shut so the nice thing about this is that it it's you know gives you all that privacy but when they close up there's a magnet here in the back so they attach to that and they're not going to rattle or move when you're going down the road now it does make it a little bit more jerky when you pull it out but again there's a reason for that so when i pull that second door out and close it nice and private then when i want to open that up i'm going to push them back in and you'll see them attached to the wall there and look at that nice and secure they're not going to move and rattle so i like that now we've got the bed here so king size bed We've got the cool air mattress. Nightstands each have a wireless charger for your cell phone. And then below that, you've got the two 110 outlets, the two USB charging ports. And we've got the control over here to the right for the bed. Well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, first, I wanna show you all the storage. So one big compartment, there's no divider. And in this middle compartment, We've got access here if someone wants to use a CPAP, plug it in and have the hoses run down through there. That's possible. I know some people don't do it above their head, but if you do, this is great. And the compartment is lit, so that's nice. And then more storage. So right underneath the cabinets, you've got a seven inch control panel. Again, you're gonna be able to do all lights on, all lights off, um, extend and re track the TV box, step locks, give you your battery levels in here, the temperature, you can do your aqua hot in here or electric heat, um, turn your generator on and off, tank levels, water pump, engine preheat, so many functions you can do right here, lighting controls, thermostat control, so climate control, your fans, your shades. So a lot of the controls that you can do on that main panel, you can do right here from your bed, which is really nice. And then just beyond that, we've got our camera selector. So you can scroll through the three different shots from outside from your exterior mirrors and your rear view camera. We also have the thermistor and speakers and then we've got the reading lights that are controlled on this panel. With the bed now flat, you can see the beautiful headboard and then the windows. We've got the 
uh, shades in the blinds. I love that we can open those windows, have a cross breeze if we want. And one of the things I forgot to mention about the windows I want you to notice is that the uh, shade color matches the rest of the decor package. Um, that's I only see that in American Coach. So another significant, significant upgrade um, with the Eagle. All right, so let's check out the storage in the master bedroom here. So nice big wardrobe here with an adjustable shelf. And then we've got the three drawers. In between the wardrobes, we have our 40 inch Sony TV. That's great directly across from the bed. So great for viewing. And then we have the bonus storage compartment behind there. And I love this for a couple reasons. First of all, we have our safe back there. A lot of times the safes are back um, in the wardrobe um, or behind the clothing. And I love that this is, you're able to get to it easily, but it's hidden at the same time. And then you've got a lot of space here. Also, we have the slide out room control, another slide out room control for this rear slide here in this cabinet. And then we have two available outlets. Then we have two drawers. Um, I kind of like them because they're fairly shallow. So they're nice for, I, I would use those probably for jewelry or something like that. Sometimes when they're too deep, you lose things. Um, and then below that is another nice big drawer. Really nice big drawer. All the drawers in the American Eagle are dovetailed. So just contributes to that high end quality that you get when you go with the Eagle. Now down below the drawer, we have the optional fireplace. This is one of my favorite features, um, just because it is the best way to take the chill off the coach on a cold day. You can come in here, fire up the fireplace. You can um, be in the bed, laying in bed, and you can control everything from a remote, or you can use the controls here on the fireplace itself. But we can just power it on, and then you can adjust the temperature, and you can have it you know, it can not put out any heat if you want it just for ambiance, which is kind of nice. And then you can change the flame color and the brightness of the flame. So if you want to just dim it so it's a little bit softer, you can put it on a timer. So really cool to have this. I love that feature. If you don't go with the fireplace, then you'll get two more drawers. So you have three drawers or you can opt in the fireplace. Just below the TV here, we've got two more 110 outlets and then another wardrobe with two shelves. So we can have adjustable shelves here. We can take them out all together if we just wanna use the hanging bar or we can use the shelves. Three more drawers. So plenty of storage here in the 45K. While I'm down here, I want you to notice our beautiful floor. Not only that, it's a flat floor. So there is no carpet in this Eagle. There's not even a rubber strip. I really prefer that over the rubber strip just because the rubber strip seems to get dirty really easily. And this just looks kind of beautiful and seamless. As I step up into the master bathroom, I just wanna let you know that there's another privacy door here with a mirror, full length mirror in that. And again, you just press that down to unlock the door and bring it open or shut it. And we step up. And we've got the beautiful dual vanity here. I always like to call that the marriage saver because everyone has their own space or medicine cabinet and the lit medicine cabinet. Just look at the detail in this bathroom. Beautiful backsplash, residential faucets, beautiful shower. It's 26 by 44 inches inside. Really nice size, beautiful shower. I want it at my house. <laughs> and then we just have the nice floor again. It all just comes together so beautifully. So like I said, lighted medicine cabinet and they each open for lots of storage. And then we have two 110 outlets right underneath the cabinet here. Our great countertop here. I love that we've got the thick countertop. It gives it that elegant feel. And then lots of storage below each sink and three nice size drawers. We got the towel holder or hand towel holder. And then we've got another panel here for lighting, for the fan, the water pump. We can also control um, the climate in the front from here. And then of course our settings. 
So I really love that on the shower door we have two bars for towels. There's never enough hanging space for towels. So they've given us one, two, three areas. I love that. Now going into the shower, we've got the optional flip down seat, place for our shampoos, our soap. We have the waterfall fixed um, shower head, and then we also have the handheld device. And just above the fixed shower head, we have the skylight. So you've got that extra height. And even with the, with the rainfall shower head, a lot of times those are a little bit lower. It's set up nice and high to give you plenty of height and width um, space in this beautifully decorated shower. Next up are the Samsung washer and dryer. So super nice that we have those in here. You can have all the comforts at home. Um, little tip on the washing machines. If you ever come into your coach and there's a really bad smell, um, you think maybe your black tank's backing up, your gray tank can smell just as bad. But what's probably happened is that all the water has dried up in the pea trap. So you just need to put a gallon of water in your washing machine, put it on the rinse cycle, it's gonna fill that pea trap back up and the smell will be gone. So just when you thought we had plenty of wardrobe space, we have even more. So full wardrobe along the back of the bathroom. So we've got our folding chairs in here, wardrobe bar, it's cedar lined and lit. Very nice size and access from either side here. And again, I love that we have the mirrors. You can check out your outfit and it goes way into the back. Our porcelain toilet, toilet paper holder, push button controls, and then our heater button here. I'm gonna explain that a little bit because um, we saw it in the half bathroom as well. This is basically the, the blower. So uh, if you have your aqua hot on and you want you don't want this bathroom to get as warm as the rest of the coach, you know, especially the half bath because it's a small space, it will really warm up quickly. You can turn that blower on and off. So you can determine if you want it to warm up quickly or if you want to turn that off. Now, just above that, we've got these nice little shelves. Aren't they pretty? Well, they're sort of a shelf for most of the time, but in an emergency, you do have a rear exit. And that's through this right here. You would just merely unlock this and pull this open. Um, you've got cables that drop it down. It doesn't um, touch the ground. And then these become your step. You can feel that they've got the grip tape underneath so that you don't slip. And then just to the side of the commode, we've got the two 110 outlets. I always like to show the slide rooms with the walls fully retracted. So you could easily be on your bed, sitting up, watching TV, grab a snack from the pantry, or a drink from the refrigerator. Access to your half bathroom. And then it really opens up here in the kitchen, easily get to the sink, the dinette, you can be at the cooktop here, and then you have great access through the front of the coach. So finally to the cockpit area. I'm here in the very comfy villa captain's chair, and we've got the arm rest, and the control is right inside here. You just lift it, put your finger in there, lift it up, and you can easily adjust the armrest. Just beyond that, we've got our massage feature. So that's really nice power, something I probably can't use because that's way too much comfort as I'm driving down the road, but very cool option. Just tucks away right in there. Then just below that, we've got the eight way power control. So forward and back and up and down. You can get this set just right. And one of the beautiful things is that you can, there's a memory setting for this. So get it just right. And then I'll show you how to do that in a minute. We've got our lumbar support here. And then this button is for your footrest when you have the chair turned around into the living room. Then we have the cool and heat, and there are three settings, so for each. And then on the left side of my chair, I have the lever that you just, you lift it up, which allows you to rotate the chair into the living room. And then you have an up and down, down arrow button, just like you do here, but it's for your backrest. So get that just right. Now I've got my chair right in place. And when I get to the memory setting, I'm gonna set it into place. So here to my left, we have the air leveling by Valid. 
So we can just go to travel and I can set a high ride or low ride. I can go to leveling here. This is where I can auto level. So I may use this if I'm just like staying at a Walmart overnight, not camping for a full week or more. Um, I may just use the air leveling, but you can also use this say to dump your tanks. If you want to lower the driver's side of the coach and raise the passenger side of the coach, you can do that to give you a little better angle um, when dumping, uh, but you can manually do that there. So you can go to manual mode for each control. And then more is just gonna allow you to customize this screen a little bit more. Here is the HWH computerized leveling system. So this is for your hydraulic jacks. Um, once you get to your campground, you're gonna to wanna to just go ahead and hit auto level. When you hit auto level, um, it's going to start leveling the coach. You'll hear the air releasing, the jacks come down. And then once it's level, you'll have solid dots in each four corners. Um, when it's time to leave, you're just gonna go into auto store, hit that, jacks will come up and it will let you know when you're in travel mode and it's safe to travel. You can also do a manual dump if you need to. And if you cannot level for some reason, it will give you a alert right here with a red dot uh, for excessive slope. If that happens, move your coach try it again if you get the excessive slope again you know you may just want to make, wait like 20 minutes before you run that pump again for your hydraulic jacks just so that you don't burn up that um, pump and we have our tag dump i just always keep this in auto mode and most of the time it will do everything you need it to do the only time i may um, disable it and go to manual is if i'm backing out of a driveway and i'm making a turn and you want to raise that tag just a little bit, you could do that. Here's your um, ATC or your auto traction control. Again, that's another button I keep on all the time unless you are in like sand, mud, or snow and you need that to be off for a second. Air horn, so I'm gonna always keep that on with this big of a vehicle. I wanna make sure they know that I'm coming. You can turn it on and off here. We've got it on. And then we've got our toll window up and down button. Cup holder, just below this, we've got a storage compartment for miscellaneous items. Great place if you keep a map to put there. You also have a USB charging port and a 12 volt port. So this is where you use the memory settings for the uh, driver's seat, the captain's seat. So once you've got it in the perfect place, you know that you're comfortable, then you're going to hit driver set and driver one and just hold and that will set it there and then you can do the same for driver two. So it'll automatically go into those memory settings, which is wonderful. So driver exit is a really cool button. So I've got my memory setting here. I'm nice and comfortable um, as I'm driving, but when I go to exit, I wanna have a little bit more space. You hit that, the steering column's going to raise, the seat's gonna push back, and it'll be easy to get in and out of your seat. Battery boost is a very important button as well. This is if you were to come back to your coach mainly in say really cold conditions and your batteries are dead, you can't start your engine. You want to take your house batteries and your chassis batteries and tie them together so you have enough power to start your ignition. Um, if you do that and your ignition doesn't start, then push it again, tie them together, try to start your generator, let your generator run for a while, and then try your ignition. This is for your exterior mirrors. Um, for the defrost and then you've got the controls to adjust so so you have good visibility Just above that we've got our wireless charging station and we have a USB um, Port there that will allow us to plug into Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Park brake pull to apply and push to release and then we've got our lights So we've got them in auto right now. We can turn them off Running or marker lights headlights and then push and pull it out for your fog lights. So we have a control here on the column. If we turn it to the column, then I can, can, I can lower and raise or telescope the column and then put it up or down from that button. Then if I turn that knob to pedal, I can now push the pedals forward and back until they're at the right position. 
So now to the Freightliner drive tech technology, everything is at your fingertips. So they're really all focused about having your eyes on the road, hands on the steering wheel, and everything within your control. So on this first column here, we've got our turn signal, obviously, right and left. And then we can push forward to have our brights on and pull back to just flash our brights. Windshield wiper controls. And then our windshield wiper fluid, just push in for that. All right, so the paddle on the right, this is for our transmission control. So like I said, everything now is right at your fingertips rather than over on a call um, on the sidebar. So you can go to drive, neutral, reverse. You'll get very comfortable doing this um, quicker than you think. And then one of the features that I really like with this uh, transmission being on this paddle is that your engine brake is also on the paddle. So up is off, then you have low, medium, high, so it's just really easy to throw on that engine brake. As well as um, your transmission, you can also manually shift. So if you push once, you'll go into manual mode and then pull forward to shift up, push back to downshift. Once you're ready to go back into auto shifting, you just push and hold. Let's talk about these buttons. They control the display up here. So we can just go to our home button that will take us to our gauges. We can click in and then we can scroll through our transmission temperature, turbo boost, oil pressure, coolant temperature, engine load, gear. Now steering effort, this is your select drive. This is your computer aided driving assist that will detect a strong wind or a camber to the road and automatically adjust for you. So you can do it through the main menu like this or you can just use this quick button and it will take you right to steering effort which is really nice when you're driving so you can just tighten that up for more or for less i like it when i'm i really like a, a, like a firmer filling steering column so i usually keep it on high lock it in and then you go back so now i can also get to it from this button as well so same and you can see it's locked in next one is fuel economy mobile eye so this is where i can customize my mobile eye so headway warning distance near medium or far i'm going to keep it at near intelligent high beams enable or disable i'm going to enable that lane departure warning I want to have high sensitivity and speed limit indicator. I'm going to do that just so that you can see it during the test drive. I'm going to go ahead and put it at five miles per hour. It will give me an alert. It might drive us crazy and we'll change that real quickly. <laughs> then we've got road watch. So for our cruise control, now we can choose our following distance. If we want to be alerted um, further away, medium or close. I'm going to go ahead and make that super sensitive. Tire pressure. TPMS comes standard on the Eagle. And then we've got our trip information, trip one and trip two. Vehicle settings. So this is where we can Bluetooth our phone, our dash brightness. Um, basically customize how you want those things on your dash. Diagnostics, internal diagnostics, transmission, system information, and radar alignment. And then you can turn the menu off so you just go back to your miles per hour. Again, Go to that quick button for your steering effort, and then you have the volume control for your radio, plus and minus. Your horn here, and then on this side, we've got our answer a call, hang up a call, cruise control, so set your cruise control, hit the set button, and then you can resume if you have to put on your brakes for any reason, and you can also increase your speed or decrease while you're in cruise control, cancel, 
I like this because this is your mute button. Also a little tip here, if you want to air up your coach quickly when you first turn it on, hit your cruise control just when you're in park and then hit, hit set and you'll see your RPMs raise and air up your coach quicker. These are your marker lights. They're basically a courtesy light. So if you're driving down the road at night, you pass a trucker and um, he lets you know by flashing his brights that it's safe for you to uh, change lanes back into his lane. Then you just flash those marker lights to say thank you. Here's your push button start. I will demo this when we go on our test drive. And then let's go up to our big screen displays here. So we've got our main menu here. We can scroll through our radio, media center, XM radio, Bluetooth, HDMI, aux, our HD cam, Apple CarPlay, our nav system, and then our setup where you can customize your screen. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm plugged into Apple CarPlay from over here at the dash. I can make phone calls, I can go to my maps, I can go to my music, play my music here. So choose your songs. Anyway, that's really nice to have that. You also have your navigation system that comes with the system. So you can put in all your information here. And then we have setup. Again, this is where you can customize your screen. And then we have the Vega touch. This is nice to have right here at the dash. So I can control my front um, blinds and shade, my entry blinds and shade, driver side blind and shade, and my passenger blinds and shade. And my light controls for the master lights on and off, entry lights, roadside exterior, and roadside and door side exterior. Then I can go to house mode. So this is when I push this button, it's going to black out these screens like you can see here. It's going to send that input to the matrix um, through Excite and then it, can, it will put it on the TV screen. Now I can uh, play audio from XM radio, my dash radio, my Apple, all on the uh, sound bar in the living room or outside for much better quality. Now our second monitor shows the camera but doesn't control it. So we do that here. Go back to your menu, go to your camera, and now you can choose which view you would like. This is my favorite view because you get the 360 bird's eye view plus the rear view camera. So again, just, you can select that view, lots of options. And that's my favorite. Here is the button for your front shade and your driver's side shade, accent lights. And then this is your radio button here. So when you're traveling down the road, you'll have it on. That way you have your music up here in the cockpit. Once you're in the campground, you don't wanna have your ignition on anymore, but you may still wanna play your radio. Go ahead and put it in park mode and you can play it outside or in the coach. Generator on and off, docking lights and then our keyless entry so you can lock and unlock the front door from here. HVAC controls here. And then below we've got the nice little cubby compartment. This is the perfect spot for your keys. That keyless fob needs to be fairly close to the ignition switch or it won't work. You'll get an alert like it doesn't typically work in the cup holder. So I think that's why they have that little section there. And then you've got this nice storage area here. Here in the co-captain's chair, it's just as comfortable as the captain's chair and you have all the same buttons on this chair. The massage feature, um, the foot rest, back rest, it's great. Now, this is probably the biggest feature um, that the co-captain has and it's awesome. So this really allows you to assist the pilot. So this is called the co-pilot, so perfectly named. Um, you can source through the different inputs here. You can dim or brighten your screen and you can toggle between navigation and camera right here. And then you can go to those camera settings and you can change those as well. Um, and they will change them for the driver when you're doing it too. So just remember, whatever you're looking at, the driver will be seeing as well. These are just screen settings and then this is how you select up or down. So we have our cup holder for the co-pilot 
Now this is absolutely my favorite function here. It's the fact that I have my own AC controls or the co-pilot co does, because that seems to be the biggest argument is how cold we're keeping the coach. Um, and then right below that, this is the override for the entry door lock. So when the driver puts the coach into drive, it has a two airlock system on that door. So you have a nice tight seal. But to open the door, then the driver needs to put the coach in neutral and put the park brake on. The co-pilot here can override that and you can do a quick in and out if you just you know forgot to grab something on the counter. Um, she can override that, get in and out real quick, and then the airlocks are still good. Just below the airlock we have a USB charging port and a 12 volt port. Then we have another one in front of the co-pilot, so 12 volt, USB, air vent, and a wireless charging pad. The last thing to show you is the step cover. So you want to make sure that no one falls into the stairwell during travel. So put this up and then there's another cool feature because you have a little window here in the corner. I know probably, you know what, 75% of my RVers RV so that they can take their furry friends with them. So whether it's a cat or a dog, they can sit there and look out the window. All right, so I wanted to tell you how to use the keyless start. So one push will put you into accessory mode. Second push will put you into ignition mode. To start the coach, put your foot on the brake, press and hold, and you're ready to go. To turn it off, all you have to do is press and hold the button or put your foot on the brake pedal and push the button. All right, so now we're on our way. A um, couple more little driving tips. If I heard it once, I heard it 10,000 times. Hug the left side of the lane that you're in. Everything bad happens on the right. Um, more tree limbs, road debris, bad streets. Now don't always stay in the left lane. That will get you in trouble. Um, and then I'll have people leaving me bad comments. Um, <laughs> just hug the left side of that lane that you're in. And the further you look down the road, the easier it is to keep yourself um, centered in your lane. You can see down that um, in your mirror where you're hitting the lane, so it's really not that hard. I always like to go to a park nearby and kind of let my new newbie drivers get used to the coach and the fill of the coach without the pressure of traffic around them. So the Eagle has a ton of safety features built into it. First of all, you've got road watch, um, you've got collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, mobile eye, your lane departure detection, traffic sign assist. So I've got a lot of those alerts on. Hopefully we'll be able to demo a few of those. But my main point is, is that with all those safety features built into this coach, um, American Coach One wants to keep you on the road safely. Um, National Indoor RV Centers wants to keep you on the road safely. So remember to check out my retro band video. Um, great peace of mind as you're traveling down the road. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my cruise control on because that's really how I like to drive. That way I can sit back and relax. I'm gonna get up to 55. All right, so there I am. I've got the speed limit sign is 50, I'm at 55. And I can even go down just a little bit if I wanna take it down to 54 so I'm not going too fast. Now I can just sit back and enjoy the journey. I mean, look at the beautiful fall colors around me. This is a nice, smooth, quiet ride um, with a lot of power. Like you hit the accelerator and you go. So you also get on this coach, you get V-Ride from Freightliner. That's going to, it gives you more stability as you're going down the road, especially when you're on, say you're on an overpass with a turn so you feel a little top heavy, you're not gonna feel that in the Eagle because it eliminates that sway. Uh, so really nice to drive. And then the other bonus that you have here is the select drive. So I'm gonna use my quick button here. I'm gonna pull up my steering effort and I'm gonna move it down just a little bit, lock it in. So I can do that right when I'm on the road. Again, with this drive tech technology, everything's right here at my fingertips so easy to drive. I always like to do the decibel reader when I'm driving so you can see how quiet it is. So 67.8, nice and quiet, 
and again just enjoying the beautiful countryside here okay so i'm going to go ahead and show you how tight you can turn in this coach um, i think you're going to be impressed we've got the ultra steer uh, tag passive tag axle on this freightliner coach which gives us a much tighter turning radius okay so now i'm just going to go you see that I didn't even go out of my lane. So super easy, no stress. <laughs> so I've shown you how easy it is to drive this coach, right? You know, you can even pick up your drink. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but really, come out to National Indoor RV Centers. We want to put you in the right coach. We want to put you in the coach that's going to make you happy. We are happy to let you test drive. Um, we want to make the whole buying experience very easy for you and pleasant. Um, and really, our goal is to just make you happy, get you out on the road RVing. Then you can come and join us at our AIM Club events, which is like a cruise in your coach. Um, you just show up to our event. We take care of everything, food, drink, entertainment, uh, education, and a lot of fun. You'll meet new people. And that's one of those things I always tell my new RVers. You ought to come to one of our AIM group rallies because I think we have the best customers out there and then you get to meet new friends and, and we're all there to get to know you. So don't delay. Come out to National Indoor RV Centers today. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the 2023 American Eagle 45K. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. Well. Current MSRP is $1,082,885. If you want to know how much I can sell you it for, make sure you give me a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Uh, we try to make the buying process so easy. Like I said earlier, we will custom order your coach or you can order one off of our inventory. And just remember with our volume and economies of scale, RV simply costs less at National Indoor RV Centers. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also check out our AIM Club video, our retro band video, and Towing 101. Thanks so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day.